Hello and welcome to my linen sale. I am going to start off with some doilies. Uh, these are a really fun shape. There's a pair of them and they have four points to them. Here is the other one. They are an ivory color and they are 14 inches long and 10 inches across. I'm going to get in here close so you can see the stitching on here. Nice design. So there are two of them, 14 inches by 10 inches. And for the pair, they are going to be, oops, six dollars, <laughs> six dollars and they are number one and you will get both. Okay, the next item I have has a big stain on it, um, but I like to put these in the sales because so many people are so crafty that there's a good chance somebody is going to find a use for this or do a little working and get the stain off. So there is a stain right there and there is also another stain here. I want to make sure those are coming through. Oh, there's also another stain right up here too. Oh, you might not be able to see that on that side as well there. So there are a few stains, really pretty, pretty design with like a, a rose pattern through it. You can see the top is solid, the bottom, almost like a piece of valance on this one. Uh, this measures 16 by 12, 16 by 12. So this is just going to be $1. Hopefully someone will have a use for this and be able to repurpose it. Um, I hate for things just because they have a stain to go in a landfill when it's possible somebody can rework parts of this. So $1 and it is number two. Okay, this is really fun and I have two of these. So these are the Holly Hobby doll form. And so it shows you here where to cut. And then it also comes with this other where, I don't know, you could put those together, it would seem like, and have another little doll. But the main doll, oh, I forgot to measure how big this doll is when it is done. Let me see here. Put this on a flat surface. So it does come with, again, all of the um, stitch, they call it the cutting line and the slash V marks. This is going to be about ooh, 21 inches. Oh, nope, from here to here, hang on. About 20 inches by 10, so 10 at the widest. 20 by 10 is going to be the finished doll size. And so you are going to get this piece of fabric right here. There, and oh yeah, and right here it does say to leave, leave that part open right there for stuffing. And so again, I have two of these, so two of them. They're going to be $5 each, so $5 each for the Holly Hobby doll, and they are number three. So $5 for one, $10 for both, $5 each, number three. Okay, now I've got some really fun, colorful. I've got three really colorful. I'm going to call them doilies. They are on the thick side. 
I'm not sure if you would want to use these for like a wash rag, but it is kind of that thickness. Um, I just think that they would be really pretty doilies to have around. Uh, this one is red and white. It measures eight by nine inches. And this one is going to be $3. And it is number four. So you see, if you show this side, you just get solid lines. If you want a little more behind the scenes, you get a little extra white striping in there. So $3, number four. Then I have a light pink one. This one is just a little bigger, but it's not as thick. So this is a little thinner. The design on here, it's like they, I don't know, they started, they, they have this pattern in here, and then it looks like they started to put it in again and then changed their mind and took it out. So it is just a little lopsided, but basically it is 13 by 11 and a half, 13 by 11 and a half. And it is this beautiful light pink. And this doily is going to be $3. And it is number five. And then I have a beautiful kind of fuchsia color. Really pretty design, and it has a nice border around it. This one measures nine and a half by nine inches, and it is thick. It's a nice thick doily. And this one is going to be $3, and it is number six. Okay, then I have, oh boy, a beautiful pair of embroidered uh, pillowcases. This pair is in really, really crisp condition. I don't think these were ever used. You can see they are white. There is some thread inside, so I will I will get the thread out of there and look at this beautiful embroidery. A little cross stitch in there. And then there is a scallop lace trim. There we go. Along the bottom, these are standard pillowcase size. And let me see if there's a tag in here. Oops, there are just some loose threads in here. Hmm. I do not see a tag to see who made these pillowcases, um, but they are a really, really nice cotton. Just another thread in there. Beautiful. So there's one. Here is the other one. These are a pair. So this one again, beautiful condition. And here is the back. So lovely red roses on this. Well, I guess they're pink, aren't they? Sorry, I thought that they were red roses. They're pink roses. Let's change that. Pink roses. There we go. Pink roses on there. I don't know why. I saw it in the light and thought they were red. Nope. All right, so this pair is going to be $18. And it is number seven. So $18 for the pillowcases, the pair of pillowcases, number seven. 
pink rose. Okay, this is interesting. Um, so maybe this is a fabric for a uh, some kind of an embroidery project, uh, but it is long and skinny. And there are these pink flowers. There's one, two, three, four, and then there's five, six, seven, and eight. So same design, a single, and then three, and then three, and a single. Uh, this is long. This is 82 inches long. And it does have a little fray at the edge right there. There is stitching here. Uh, and four and a half inches wide, four and a half inches wide, but 82 inches long. And this is a nice um, beige color and it has a beautiful weave to it. And the design does look like it's painted on. And for this really interesting piece of fabric, this is going to be $8 and it is number eight. Uh, next, I have a crochet, uh, I'm going to call it a table runner. It is 20 inches wide. So here is the wide, the width right there. That is the width, 20 inches, and it is 40 inches long. So there is one end, and there is the other end. A beautiful crochet pattern and a really fun gold pattern, kind of a, I don't know, I'm going to call it like a harvest gold coloring, but it is just gorgeous. So again, 20 inches long or 20 inches wide by 40 inches long in really nice condition. All right, this one is going to be $10 and it is number nine. Okay, also for the gold lovers, I have a scarf. Uh, so yep, every once in a while, I'm gonna throw in a little scarf. Uh, this could have multiple uses though, because it is a beautiful, sheer fabric. So you can see me through it. It is that same kind of harvesty gold color. Uh, this is 24 inches wide. So right there, 24 inches wide. Is that right? That doesn't seem right. Hold on, I'm gonna remeasure that really quick. Um. Yeah, that is about 24 inches wide. You know what? I'm going to remeasure the one I just had. Sorry, guys. I know. No no cuts in this one. Yeah, that does, that does look about right. For some reason, they just seemed a little closer in size than just four inches apart. Let me double check that, though. Um, wow. Actually, no. They are just about the same size. Okay. So I'm going to update this one, 24 by 40. So sorry about that, uh, 24 by 40. And I'm going to mark my note there. Okay, so this one is 72 inches long. So there is the width, 
And then here is the length. There's that and that. So if you were to wear this as a scarf, there, I'm going to put that around. You can see there's lots of room for playing with this. It does come down. Very nice and lightweight. 24 by 72. And this uh, scarf is going to be $8 and it is number 10. All right, this is a fun item. I know not as many people iron anymore, uh, but this is an ironing board cover. However, the fabric is so fun that um, I think that this would be great if you had a project and you wanted that fun 70s vegetable and mushroom look on something other than an ironing board, that could be okay also. Um, it does have a couple of spots on it because, you know, irons are hot. Sometimes they're on the fabric a little too long, but it does have the shape back here to hook on to the back of your ironing board right there, down on the sides. And then it does come to a smaller shape for the end. It has little ties on here to tie on to the end of your ironing board. But this is such a fun fabric. So great if you have an ironing board. Even more fun if you really don't plan on ironing. You could definitely keep it for a more retro look and then have this fun piece of material um, on the cover of your iron, again, to give it that great retro look. Or if you love this fabric, but you've got another use for it, absolutely repurpose it. Uh, this is going to be $10 and it is number 11. And that is for the ironing board cover. Okay, this is a tablecloth for um, a card table size, or if you have a square table like that, uh, this would fit just on top of it. Um, so if you had uh, like a two-tone uh, or a layered look you wanted to do, put this on top, have another color coming out the bottom. Uh, this one measures 32 inches by 34 inches. And the pattern on this is all around the edge. Beautiful pastel rainbow of colors. So there is the edge. Here is the corner. And then we start with the design all over again. Here is the third side. And then the fourth side. So you can see it does have the beautiful colors all stitched in there. Gorgeous rainbow effect. And then the center is just plain. So just plain on this one. Uh, this is going to be $12 and it is number 12. So $12 for the 32 by 34 tablecloth and it is $12. Okay, we've got Valentine's Day coming up. And this is a little um, panel of fabric for a project. Let me get this opened here. Let's see. Well, you can see that this is for a puppy. So he is puppy love. 
and this has all of the panels you will need for this project. And all of the instructions that you need to put the puppy together. And then you will end up with this cute puppy. And this panel is going to be $8, and it is number 13. Okay, next I have a couple of crochet. They are loops. They are done with an ivory color and then a kind of golden variated along the edge. Um, each, I have two of these loops. Here is the other one. Each of these loops is 42 inches long. So 42 inch loop, and you are going to get both of them for $2, number 14. Okay, this is just ready for a project piece of fabric. So it is a nice uh, kind of a ivory beige color. You can see it has a nice edging all around it. This piece measures 14 and a half inches by nine inches. And so it is just a like a little dresser scarf or doily just waiting to have a project um, stitched on it. This is going to be one dollar and it is number 15. Okay, the next one I have is a set of four. Um, but a couple of them have a little condition issue. This one, the edge on here is a little rough. But this is what all four of them look like. So there is the first one. The second one has just right here a little bit of colorant on it just a slight bit of pink right there the other two are in great condition so you are going to get this set of four of these doilies and they measure 11 by 8 inches 11 by 8 inches and you are going to get all four of these for $8. And they are number 16. Okay, this is one of the funnest aprons that I have picked up in a long time. It is a pink and white check. And it's a half apron. Here is the waistband, nice long ties on it. And look at this cute pattern. And it's got this gorgeous pocket. Look at that with the black and gold rickrack in a triangle style there. Oh, this is so fun. And then the black is continued up on top here. And this is all hand stitched in. 
So they did such a great job with this apron. Oh, it is so cute. And this half apron is going to be $12 and it is number 17. Okay, and then I've got a really big tablecloth. It's really big. <laughs> it is 90 inches by 56 inches. Okay, and I am probably going to have to stand up to show this one off, but I'm going to show you the color of it first up close. Oh, this is so pretty. And the design is gorgeous on this. Let me get up here and show this off. So again, this is 90 inches by 56 inches. This is the center right here. There is the side. And then here is the bottom. The center again. Yeah, this is, this is so pretty. Let me get on my chair <laughs> and I'm going to get in close here so you can see some of the beautiful detailing on this. And then here is the edge. And then here is that center up close. I think that's the center. Nope. Oh, it's hard to find that. Yeah, that is the center there. So this one again is 90 inches by 56 inches. This is going to be $24, and it is number 18. All right, so that is everything for the linen sale. If you are interested in purchasing any of the items shown, just be the first person to put the number that was associated with it in the comments below. I'll reply back and let you know if you've got it or if someone else has already claimed it. Any questions you have, please put those in the comments and I'll reply back as quick as I can. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click that notification bell and change it to all if you want to be notified each time I put out a video and when I go live for my sales. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.